Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Rangers career episode number 7. And since it's a January transfer window, I decided to go ahead and call up some of our younger players from the Youth Academy. The first one, Colson, he wanted to be called up, I don't really think he's ready yet, so he's probably going to go out on loan initially, but at six foot three, he might actually make a decent center back. If he has good potential, he might find a spot in the rotation eventually. The next one is goalkeeper Brick Evans. What a great name that is, Brick Evans. 64 overall already. He's probably going to the second season as our number two goalkeeper behind Wes Fodderingham. And then the other one, maybe the superstar of the Youth Academy so far. It's Riley McKenzie, a right winger. I know he's going to have to compete with Jake Hasty for playing time. But if he lives up to his potential, he could be a mega star in the future. So we actually have a transfer offer in here for Jamie Murphy. And we have so many wingers in this team. I just don't think we really need Jamie Murphy anymore. It's too bad because I like the dude. Just can't quite get on the field for us. So we'll go ahead and sell him to Copenhagen. And then it looks like Eduardo Herrera will be signing a pre-contract with Santos Laguna. See now, this is the exact kind of transfer offer that I was worried about getting in the offseason. I will not sell Alfredo Morelos right now. We just cannot do that. I'm sure he would understand as well. So we're going to wait on this. It says his value could be between 23.6 and 34.6 million. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be with us next year, but he's definitely staying for the rest of this season. Well, somehow Jake Hasty got it in his head that we're looking to replace him. I, I'm not really sure what's going on there, but no, no, Jake Hasty, you're staying put. The Tasty Hasty show goes on. And because I said that the next time we face St. Mirren, I will play this match because this is the only team we haven't played so far in the league. We're going to go ahead and play this one. Lord have mercy on their souls. I have decided to rotate the team quite heavily for this match, including giving the youngster Riley McKenzie his debut. Oh no, there's too many runners. Oh, it's behind everyone. Somehow they actually came out with that. And San Juan Cambo blocks that behind for a corner. Okay, well, that was a bit interesting defense from us early on. Oh, McGregor has to make a save there. Okay. St. Mirren, uh, St. Mirren came to play. We may have, may have been talking a little bit too much trash before this game. Phillips, perfectly timed run of Jordan Jones. Oh, he got a little bit too much of that. Nice pass there. Far side. Oh, Davis was there, but the shot is blocked. Jordan Jones has those four-star skills, using them wisely there. Davis for Defoe. Defoe turns his man. Defoe! Oh my god, what a slide tackle. That saved a goal for sure. Defoe in there for McKenzie. McKenzie, one more. Beautiful stuff. Back heel. Riley McKenzie! The youngster on his debut. What a debut it is. Beautiful passing from the whole squad. Really got to untuck his shirt and give him some proper boots. Oh, no. That deflection is diabolical. St. Mirren didn't even earn that one. Come on, man. That's just trash. Playing through for Defoe. Defoe's in a good spot. Defoe turns it inside. Defoe! Curling effort. A beauty as well. But saves to the side. Unbelievable. How? I'm still confused about how it's 1-1 right now. Oh, Phillips gets a little bit lucky. But Phillips is coming through. Oh, Phillips, that might not have been a great play, but he gets it to Defoe. Defoe turns it back. Oh, absolutely turns his defender inside out. And there is the savvy veteran move from, I almost called him Willem Defoe. It's not Willem Defoe, that's an actor. Jermaine Defoe! Why the hell could I think of his first name? Maybe I need to play him a little bit more. Jordan Jones. Oh, absolutely just skins a man. That was beautiful. Oh, Defoe. Aribo held his run. Aribo! There's number three. Clinical counterattack from Rangers. I think that every one of our goals kind of starts with a one-on-one -on -one move from somebody, usually a winger. And as soon as you beat that first man, it's just like clockwork. It, we're just so automatic on counterattacks. It's actually scary. That is a really good ball over the top. San Juan Cambo is way out of position. He's trying to track back. Watson. Good header. Referee! This ain't the WWE, man. You can't just spear my keeper. 
That better be some kind of a card. It is yellow. Thank you. Well, there's the final whistle. A 3-1 win at home over St. Mirren. Kind of to be expected. But to be fair, St. Mirren put up a pretty decent fight. So we have a couple of offers in. The first one is for Scott Arfield. I honestly thought at the beginning of this career he was going to be a big player for us, especially in season number one. I have tried him in both winger positions and all three of the center mid spots, and he just disappears every time I put him on the field. He can't even make it onto the bench now for a game. I think it's time to move on from him, so I'll go ahead and accept that offer from Cruz Azul. And then we have a loan offer for Brick Evans. I'm going to bring him back next season, but for right now, we have Fodderingham, we have McGregor. I don't have a spot for Brick Evans, so we'll loan him out and get him a little more playing time. And then Andy Halliday has a pre-contract offer from Helsingborgs. Okay, well, uh, good luck to you, Andy Holiday. Next up, we have a game away to Hearts. I believe I've already played them twice this season, so we'll go ahead and sim this one. Ooh, a 3-0 win on the road. Hasty Morelos and Kent. My attackers doing the business. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to buy a player in this transfer window, but then my scouting network actually found someone that I thought looked kind of interesting, and that is Andrew Dallas, formerly now of Cambridge United, currently at Rangers. And what I did was I swapped our other striker who hasn't played a single minute for us, and because of that, I don't remember his name, and I do feel a little bit bad about that, but I swapped him for Andrew Dallas plus like $100,000, so... Pretty good deal. Didn't cost us a lot of money. He's a player that's young, 20 years old, has pretty good potential, mid to high 70s, I would say. And at six foot three, he's kind of fast. I, I just thought he looks interesting. We need the depth. Let's bring him in. So with the transfer window now closed, we move on to the month of February, and this is what our schedule is looking like in this short month. Eight games, including games in the Premier League, in the Scottish Cup, and of course the Europa League knockout stages where we have drawn Leon. It is not going to be easy. Our depth is going to be tested. And seeing as how we just sold like three or four people, our young players are really going to have to step up. So we start off here against Aberdeen. Last time we played them, we had that 5-2 thriller where all of the goals were scored in the first 35 minutes of the game. We'll see what happens here in this one. So the good news for this match, well, not just for this match, but for this stretch of games, is that Goldson has returned from injury. And he's back in the starting 11. Actually, I think he was in there for that sim we had against Hearts as well. But it's good to have him back. Our, our defense is finally, once again, at full strength. Morelos. Oh, that's a ball. That is a ball. And there's Ryan Kent. Here we go again, boys. one nothing Rangers. Five and a half minutes in. Oh, not a good play there. Not a good play. Ooh, McGregor could save, though, buddy. Right, corner here for Aberdeen. Let's see what they're going to do. They're going to do nothing. Kamara. Kind of unnecessarily acrobatically clear. Uh-oh. That's a ball. That's off the post. And Barisic gets it away. Oh, my goodness. Kamara. Oh, look at all the space for Ryan Kent in behind. Wow, they just really did not stay. Oh, wow. What a save by Lewis, though. That should have been 2-0. Oh, what a ball in there. Morelos. That's exquisite stuff. Phillips. Makes it two shortly before halftime. That's what we like to see. We just pinned him deep for about 20 minutes and finally got the payoff through Elliot Phillips. Phillips? Oh, Phillips! No, you did not do that. That was disgusting. Go Davis on this. He can pick a pass. Aribo in there for Morelos. Off the post. Hasty follow up. Can't quite get a shot away. That shot from Morelos looked really good. Oh, that was a really, really bad pass. Kent's going to get on the end of that. He's going to give it to Defoe. And here comes Jermaine Defoe. Oh, what a finish that was. That caught the roof of the net. You don't stop those. Oh, Tavernier, get there. He's not going to get there. That's a good ball in. Oh, thankfully, it was right at McGregor. Let's just sit on that thing. Ref, if you please, you blow, the, blow the whistle. We're three minutes into stoppage time. Hello? There it is. Okay, yeah, let's just keep the clean sheet. We don't need to be pressing any more than we already have. We'll take a 3-0 victory there. We move on now to take on Hibernian. They are in third place coming in, so the games are not getting any easier. And we got to keep getting these points now while we still can because we're the only team in the league still playing in Europe. I know we have a nine-point lead in the league, but with Celtic out of Europa League, now they failed to make it out of their group. That's going to mean they're going to be focusing more on the league 
we might start to drop points they could close the gap pretty quickly nice pass in there for a rebo a rebo trying to get just the, the pass the angles aren't there we're just we're a little bit off in this game not gonna lie like something's not quite right for morelos that is exquisite passing here comes jordan jones into the box jordan jones across from Morelos. Well, it's in. It wasn't pretty, but it's a goal nonetheless. Halliday in there for Kamara. For Ryan Jack on oh, the follow-up. Ryan Jack, that is a sensational goal from our midfielder. He doesn't score many. As a matter of fact, I can't even remember the last time he did score. But oh boy, that one was pretty impressive. There's nowhere for them to go out here. Tavernier blocks that. Oh, that's an issue. That. What are you doing? Holiday. Good lord, man. Pull your head out. Jones passes up the crossing opportunity. Coming into the box. Jones now finding it for Morelos. Just thrashed at it. Calm yourself, Morelos. Oh, yes. Jordan Jones. He absolutely turned his man. Jordan Jones across for Jake Hasty. 3-0 to Rangers. That should just about do it. Tasty Hasty is loose. Oh, they can't keep up with him. Hasty's going to have to deliver a ball in the air for Morello's back stick. Morello's with the bicycle kick. Oh, that puts the exclamation point on things. 4-0 to Rangers. Oh, no. How are we going to replace Morello's if we sell him? And I'm like 90% sure he's going to leave. I've never had a striker score a goal like that, ever. Let's just simply move the ball side to side. No panic. It's all composure. Jones in there. Morelos one more time. It's five. It is five. Is that a Morelos hat trick as well? It might be. Well, there's the final whistle. Five nil. That was the third place team in the league that we just dismantled. 5-0, Amarelos takes the match ball with his hat trick. Spectacular hat trick as well. He scored one with his feet. Well, he scored two with his feet. One normal goal, one bicycle, and then one with his head there in stoppage time. What a man. So after like the fifth time of my assistant manager coming to me and saying, Oh, Tavernier does not have the leadership trait. We should change captains. I'm sick of it. I've given him the leadership trait. He is our captain and that is not going to change. And for our last match of the episode, we have first place Rangers away at last place Hamilton in the first game of the Scottish Cup. Don't ask me how we got this draw. A little bit lucky for us. Severely unlucky for Hamilton. All right. We are heavily rotated for this game as well. And we get a uh, second look at our youngster, Riley McKenzie, with what in the hell was that pass that I just saw? That was mad. Oh, how in the world? How are they getting through my players? Like, we're in the good... Oh, that's a bad throw out by uh, Fodderingham. I can't ever remember his name. I swear Barisic is having a freaking nightmare. Barisic cannot stay in front of that winger. He is just out of position every single play. For 25 minutes, he's been out of position. Oh my goodness, he's killing me. And it's one nothing to Hamilton. Kent, that's not a foul, ref. Come on, man. And it's a yellow card. Why is every foul I commit a yellow or a red card? That was that even a foul? It's not a foul. He just blocked the he blocked the clearance. Davis threw for Defoe. Defoe for Phillips. Phillips for Davis. Davis, don't miss this time. There's the answer we're looking for. One one. Settle the nerves, boys. We have not looked good so far. Can we defend this? We do, sort of. Mackenzie gets it away. We're not out of danger yet. Oh, my. Wow, Fodderingham actually saved that. Ryan Jack can't stop that. It's going to be another delivery. Oh, and that one gets over the bar. Oh, we're surviving just barely. And a ball through. Beautiful for Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Oh, what the? Is that touch, Mackenzie? Phillips, what is that? 
What are you doing? What is my team doing? Okay, we're getting subs. I've had enough. I've seen enough. We're not playing well. What What exactly is it that we are doing? What, explain to me what you're trying to do. Oh, that should be 2-1. Hamilton deserves to win this game. We don't deserve to win anything. We do not deserve this game at all. Boys, we cannot, we cannot draw this game with Hamilton. I, I don't even know if it goes to pens. I don't even know really how the Scottish system works. Do we have something here with Phillips? There it is, Elliot Phillips! Yes! Five minutes from full time. The youngster Elliot Phillips pulls us in front. I see nothing has changed with domestic cops in FIFA. They are still the toughest matches that you will ever play. Ooh, McKenzie gets that up to Dallas. Andrew Dallas? Can Andrew Dallas make it a dream debut? No, not quite, but that's okay. There is the final whistle. Oh my goodness. I, I really saw us crashing out of the Scottish Cup right there. In the first game against the last place team in the league. That was way too close. So that is uh, a good spot to stop it, I think, for the day. We have opened up an 11-point gap in the league. Celtic? Celtic are going to a replay in the Scottish Cup against Ross County. Don't ask me how. Where, where even is Ross County? They're in 10th. I mean, hell, we almost did it with Hamilton, so I, I can't really say anything. Celtic were playing away just like we were as well, so... I guess it happens. I guess we, we kind of overlooked Hamilton a little bit. Maybe I rotated too much against them. Or maybe it's just that domestic cups are still extremely difficult to win in FIFA. I'm not really sure. But nonetheless, we have the 11-point lead in the league. We're into the next round of the Scottish Cup. And next time out, we're getting back into the Europa League where we will play Lyon. So, everything's on track. We could technically do a, pull a treble here. It's the Europa League. It's not the Champions League. But... It still would be very impressive to take three trophies in our first season. So we'll see how this all plays out. But that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. See you when we come back for some more Rangers career. See you.